So what we're gonna do is move away from debating the merits of a device like a revealer. We're gonna go ahead and put the putters on a torque meter. Again, many of you have seen this device. It's called the Revealer. Uh, it's a tool that was developed to demonstrate how putters behave in the address position. Uh, when we talk about zero torque putters, what's really important for everybody to understand is we're trying to measure the amount of twisting force that happens at the grip end when you're in the address position. This is the twisting force that's created by the putter head working its way up the shaft to your hands. And so this device here unfortunately has some flaws. You can see here that you see this commonly done, a putter perfectly swinging in place, and then it addresses the ball, and it stays perfectly square. However, this device is supporting the shaft way at the bottom. If you actually move this to the grip, you can see how the putter flops completely 90 degrees. If I bring this back down, the putter is back to square. If you bring it back up, it opens up. So if you want the benefit of this putter staying square when you putt, you need to use a revealer so that it stays square. But if you're actually just putting with the putter, what you can actually expect is that the putter head is opening up on you and this putter has torque. So what we're gonna do is move away from debating the merits of a device like a revealer. We're gonna go ahead and put the putters on a torque meter, which is a scientific device that measures torque and really look at how much torque each one of these putters produces. Now, what this device does is it actually measures torque. You have a torque meter, you have a clamp, and when you apply pressure on the clamp, you can see that the numbers change because it's measuring rotation of torque. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, some torque readings and let's see what kind of measurements we get. So you can see here that the the device is set at zero, zero. Uh, it's very, very sensitive. You can see that just barely touching it changes the numbers. So we're gonna take this axis one, we'll put it in the clamp, line it up on the bottom, and let's just see what kind of a starting point we get. So we tighten it up. Let it go. We are 0, 0.0 torque in the vertical orientation. And now if I take it back to the light position, you can see that it's toggling back and forth between 0, 0.0 and 0, 0.1. So it is zero. Okay. So now we're gonna put a lap putter on there. Uh, one of the things that I have to do is because they have a fatter grip, all we're going to do is enlarge the clamp. So you can see that it's still zeroed out. Now we'll take the, the new uh, DF3 and we'll put it on the clamp here. You can 
can see that the putter is zeroed out. And we're getting 0.18 in the vertical orientation. And now when you go We're at 0.18 inch pounds. Let's take the directed force. Again, we're trying to line up the grip axis and the bottom of the putter right on the orange line there. Turn it up. Now it's zero in the vertical. Point two zero, point two one, point two zero in the address position. So, as you can see from using a torque meter where you're basically seeing how much torque is being transferred to your grip through this device. And we will post up the table uh, so you can see how all the other putters compare as well. Okay, here's a popular spider putter. Let's have a look and see what kind of readings we get. Four seven. There's a pink putter, half mallet. Point two four. Mess lab. Again, what we're lining up is the grip and the face of the putter, because that's the way it sits at a dress, even though the shaft has a my angle. 0 0.02. Okay. So let me summarize what we have just seen. We have put a whole bunch of putters through the torque meter. We've got torque readings. Um, clearly the future of putters is going to be torque-free putters, but not all torque-free, zero torque putters are the same. There are some fundamental differences that were evident by the readings that we were getting on the torque meter. And clearly access one was the only one that was perfectly balanced, zero torque. And that's because of our patented technologies, our patented heel counterweight, and the fact that the shaft and the grip axis are all in line with the center of gravity and that the putter center of gravity bottoms out at the bottom of your stroke before you actually hit the ball. It's not forward pressing where the center of gravity is going down like all the putters. This is truly the only perfect balanced torque-free putter on the market.